What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to a different start to the video today. Today is the, what's the date? The 2nd of September and it's FA Cup weekend. It's my third leg of my road to Wembley, so it's the first qualifying round. And as I say, it's a different start today as I'm with Patch from Three Peeps of the Podcast. Hello. As you can probably see. Merchandise. Um, yeah, we're off to odd down against Weymouth today, which is a step five against a step three team, I what, believe. What round of the FA Cup is it? So this is the first qualifying round. So I've already mm -hmm. done the extra preliminary, preliminary, and now it's the first round qualifying. Yeah, I was going to, originally I was planning on going to Billericay against Didcot, but I didn't want the hassle. You're a biggest fan of Billericay. Yeah, I just end up moaning. Um, and yeah, I'm going to hand over to Patch now. Oh, we're falling. <laughs> it's moving. To ask a couple of quick questions as part of the intro. Yeah, let me know what you think of this, whether you enjoy it or not. Um, and if you do, then I'll try and do a bit more. But yeah, over to you. And if you want us to do it, car carpool karaoke, Adam, Adam can sing. Nah. Personally, I think he does a good rendition of McFly. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe that can be a bonus edition one day. But no, yeah, thanks for having me on um, and taking me to Odd Down versus Weymouth. Yeah. But obviously, we've just had the transfer deadline day, um, so I just wanted to get your thoughts initially on how that went and also just the, the madness this this uh, you know in terms of the actual money spent now so what, what are your thoughts well, on that and should the transfer deadline day be before the start of the season well deadline day itself now anyway it used to be it used to be different but now it's just a farce it's just a day for the media basically um, I don't know how much money was actually spent on deadline day but apart from um, Oxley Chamberlain, who we knew about two days ago, apart from him and then obviously the Mbappe deal, which again we knew about weeks ago, nothing happened. And it's made out all this media frenzy style stuff. And the funniest thing was Sky Bet, or no, Sky Sports tweeting out that, um, uh, who was it? That Sanchez was, at, was gone to Man City. They, they Sky, actually gone. Sky bet would have put a load of their odds right down, everyone would have bet on it, and yeah. then 10 minutes later, the deal was straight off again. It's just an absolute farce for the media to get lots of people watching Sky Sports News for the day, basically. Is that a conspiracy theory? Yeah, it is a bit. Funny enough, we uh, discussed con conspiracy theories in episode 51. That's a bit of a plug. Of Free Peeps in the Podcast, available on iTunes. Links in the description. Uh, um, yeah, so, yeah. but I, th I think the actual summer deals... Um, it was five years ago. It was four hundred and fifty million. That's a billion. And now it's it's one point four billion in five yeah, years. Yeah, well, it's not it's worrying way it's, it's going. It's not actual money anymore, is it? It's just um, what is it? Bitcoin. It's, it's monopoly money. It's Bitcoin. It doesn't exist. What's Bitcoin. <laughs> I'll tell you later. I'm too young, probably. Um, Bristol pound. Yeah, it's it's not. It doesn't exist. It's not real money. It's just it's just beyond belief. And the fact, yeah, and as you said, I don't. The transfer window should close on the 1st of August, mm. where they were opened a couple of weekends earlier, um, but it should close before the season started because as, it's ridiculous. And as a Chelsea fan, what do you think about the sort of seven or eight rejections that you had throughout that? Well, you don't, I don't really know why they were rejected, whether there was reasoning behind it, whether it was just money-based, what, what it was. Mm. Um, but to be honest, in terms of Ross Barkley, not really that bothered. He's good on his day, but his, his day doesn't come often enough. Yeah. Um, Lorente went to, to Spurs instead of Chelsea. Lorente, again, not that bothered about. We've got Morata. Mm. And now Costa apparently is coming is back. I don't really know. Whether he'll play before he goes to Atletico in January, I don't know. But, yeah, not too bothered. Not too concerned. Mm. OK, um, moving on then. Uh, other, other bits of buzz around your Twitter has been around the under-23 teams in oh, the... What was it called? The Leyland Daft Trophy or the Freight Rover Cup, whatever it's called now. The Checker Trade. Trophy. Checker Trade, yeah. Um, what what irks you so much about about that? It's just it's laziness. It's absolute laziness by the FA, the clubs that are involved. It's just they've realised that their academy systems aren't working, and we're not getting core British talent through. So they're thinking that this is the way forward by playing. I can't remember the exact example, but I think it might have been Norwich last season or something like that. They, I think they played Barnet. They won 4-0 or 5-0, mm. and all five of their goal scorers were over the age of 26 and were all from Africa or Asia or somewhere. Right. Not a real example, but yeah, it's just... Imagine being a football player. It's your job, 
and you, that you, the, F, the EFL come in and say to you, right, we're going to put B teams in to play against you. Yeah. Oh, it, it would be all. F- and they're not real teams in the league, are they? So no. they aren't. They aren't actually and it's an just, active team. They just they've got their own sort of. It's like the reserves. It, yeah. We used to have like. Bristol City Reserves would play on a on a Wednesday night down Ashton Gate, and sometimes I would go down and see what they were like. But yeah, they shouldn't be in a in a cup competition. Um, but in Spain, you've got like Barcelona B, and they're actually in the league, aren't yeah. they? And I don't really know. The Spanish culture of football is very, very, very different to the English culture of football. English of we as English fans are very traditional. We don't like change. Well, it's not that we don't like change. We don't like unnecessary change. And a change like that is completely unnecessary. It's not going to bring any anything positive at all, really. Because the te- the B teams that are playing, as I say, they're not. It's not necessarily full filled up with core British talent that are sort of eighteen, nineteen. It's a complete mixture. Some of them, as I say, with Norwich playing thirty year olds, and it's just it just bugs me. And as you say, with the Barcelona B teams, that is what's going to lead. The EFL have already said, uh, or I don't know if it was the EFL that said it, but it was a number of years ago that uh, one day that it's quite likely the B teams will actually be implemented into the Football League. And that would destroy the British game, in my opinion. Um, yeah, just. Okay. I've taken part in the B team boycott. It doesn't seem to have made any difference for last season, but there's no work at not take part again. Alright, back yeah. on to today then. We're, we're uh, sort of in the FA Cup today. I asked it, I don't know if I could bring an inflatable banana or an FA Cup or something. I haven't got one, but uh, I remember my experiences of going down Ashton Gate and watching the FA Cup, and we would always have you know, inflatables. I don't know why. Um, if you had one, you could bring one. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be allowed it in. But, so you're aiming, you're aiming to go to every round of the FA Cup? Yeah, I hope so. Um, so, as I say, I've already been to two rounds. I've been to the extra preliminary. I went with a few guys to... Flackwell Heath against Burnham FC and that was 5-0 and then the preliminary round I went to Wimborne Town against Andover Town which again was a cup set um, Andover won that 2-1 and that was so that was about two weeks ago so that was in a, actual, in a replay because I was in Germany for the actual round but that still counts so yeah today Old Dan against Weymouth in the preliminary round and then in a fortnight's time oh no in the first round qualifying and then in a fortnight it'll be the second round and then a fortnight because they're every fortnight of these early rounds okay well that seems like a good time to uh, and over to back to you now mate yeah thank you very much so what we're doing now we're, um, we're going through Saltford we're almost there we're what are we 15 minutes away from Odd Dan about that I think yeah. 15 minutes cool yeah hope you enjoy the video